Hello and welcome back to this new video on hardware in loop testing. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is an HIL system is and what are the components of an HIL system and what kind of testings are done in the HIL system. Okay, so HIL stands for hardware in the loop. So what does that H mean or hardware means? Hardware in HIL system means an ECU. ECU stands for an electronic control unit. Okay, so the function of an electronic control unit is to control the automotive subsystems like engine, braking system, transmission system, suspension system, and so on. So the ECU consists of microcontroller along with the other peripherals like memory, IOs the timers, the counters, the signal conditioning circuits, the application specific integrated chips like ASIC. So ECU consists of all these peripherals along with the microcontroller. So that is an ECU, that is an hardware in the HIL system. Okay, so what is a loop? Loop means the, along with the ECU, we have a, a simulation setup. So by making use of that simulation setup, we are going to test the hardware which is nothing but our ECU okay so the this is the HIL setup so here you can see we have a ECU okay electronic control unit which is in loop with the engine so in this case engine is our plant okay so this plant most of the times it is modeled in the simulation softwares like MATLAB Simulink or ASCAPE or many other simulation tools. So the model is developed in the simulation tool and deployed into the, the host machine. Okay, so that host machine will be running the plant model and that plant model is in loop with the ECU. So it simulates the vehicle environment. Okay, so the input is it the input to the ECU comes from this uh, plant model and then output of the ECU goes to the again plant model. So it be, it will be in the loop with the automotive system. So that is the reason it is called as an HIL system hardware in the loop. Okay. So here it can be ECU or here it can be an engine or it can be braking system or any kind of system. So that becomes your HIL system hardware. So this is your hardware. And it is in loop with the with a simulation setup. Okay, so most of the times it is a simulation setup, or it even it it might be having the real vehicle also. Okay, so a child system might also have the real vehicle, not just only uh, always may not be only the simulation. Okay, so that's about the hardware in the loop. coming to what kind of tests are done in the HIL system so there are three types of tests are done for the HIL for the hardware basically for the ECU one is the test related to the hardware test related to the application software and test related to the communication software like CAN, LIN, FlexRay and so on okay so coming to hardware related tests what kind of hardware related tests are done in HIL system for a hardware related test like uh, the ECU will have several hardwares like ECU will have sensors ECU has what actuators it has what signal conditioning circuits it has got a memory it has got IO it has got uh, the valves and pump motors and so on so for all these hardwares majorly there are three types of tests are done one is short to ground that means so all these hardwares are shorted to ground and check whether how our ECU behaves how it behaves when 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 the sensors are shorted to ground or when actuators are shorted to ground this is one of the important tests which is done then shorting to u bat so all these sensor signals or actuator signals are shorted to u bat u bat is the battery voltage and they check how our system behaves or our hardware of the ECU behaves this is another kind of test which is done for all kind of hardware within the ECU 
then open circuit test okay so like uh, sensor short to ground sensor short to battery voltage or even when the sensor line or signal line of the sensor is cut or break open then how our system behaves that kind of tests are done in the hardware so these are the three major tests which are done for most of the sensors and actuators and then apart from that over voltage tests are also done when when the battery voltage crosses the the threshold limit then what how our ecu behaves then when the battery voltage goes below the threshold limit how our ecu behaves so some kind of ram tests are done e square from tests are done so watchdog timer tests are done so these are the different kinds of tests are done in the hl system for our ecu or the hardware okay then coming to the software test basically software test means they are application test most of the times application test like application means anti lock breaking system is an application okay electronic stability program is an application traction control is an application airbag is an application so at the application level i am talking there are lots of other tests like unit tests are done functional tests are done so lots of tests are done but at the top point of at the higher level i am talking the application tests are like uh, sensor out of range value tests are done sensor giving invalid values okay then the application performance related tests with the different maneuvers like if it is an abs system so so the the hl system provides an environment to create a different maneuvers okay with a different views okay with a different uh, friction so you can test your vehicle okay you can test your vehicle at high speed braking at high speed during a cornering so all kind of maneuvers can be performed with the hl system okay for the application performance so coming to communication related tests okay so in communication like can lin flex ray these are the different communication protocols so with respect to can like uh, you can simulate uh, can bus off can error passive can error active test uh, so different kinds of testings are done to check the can signals with a different maneuvers just i mentioned like by creating the different maneuvers maneuvers in the sense you drive at a high speed and suddenly brake and check how can signals are behaving you take a sudden turn and check how the can signals are behaving and also the tests are done at the under voltage and over voltage for can signals so these are the kind of tests are done with a hl system okay so what is there inside an hl system okay so as i told you hl is a hardware in the loop so this is my hardware and this is the the simulation setup okay or the most of the time the simulation setup is is called as a lab car or d space there are many manufacturer who supply the hl system for different automotive fun uh, functions okay so for braking system there is a different hl system there is a uh, different system for, uh, hl system for engine management so there are many manufacturer who produce the hl system okay so for the uh, the lab car or the d d space so model is developed in the host system and dumped to the the lab car or the d space so your vehicle model will be running in the the this hardware okay and then you connect your ecu to this hardware okay and ecu gets the sensor signal from this lab car or the d space and then ecu gives a signal to the actuators so you can perform different kinds of tests i just i mentioned earlier test for the hardware test for the software test for the communication uh, peripherals like can and so on so inside this uh, there are many components at at the higher level i can say it has got a load box like load box in the sense load box has got uh, the the load box has got uh, flexibility to simulate the different kinds of hardware like sensors actuators and so on and it has got a sense signal box which can generate the different signals and then it has got a breakout box to perform a manual test like as this mentioned open circuit or shorting a signal to ground 
sensor signal to ground or shorting the sensor signal to a bad battery voltage so all those tests can be done using a breakout box so this particular system provides the environment vehicle environment to test your uh, ecu so why it is so important to test your vehicle uh, sorry not vehicle the ecu at the lab so every time when you develop uh, your your ecu or a or a code for the ecu so you cannot go to the test track and test okay so that is that cost a lot instead of testing in the on the vehicle directly you can test it in the lab you can verify you can validate your software so that is very easy uh, easy to test easy to validate so that will be cost effective and it, it is even you can reduce a lot of time so that's the reason HL systems are very beneficial to test your hardware or the ECU. So I hope uh, you got my point. And this is what I wanted to convey. So in this video, I covered what kind of tests are done in the HL system. What are the components at the at the top level this uh, HL system has got. I hope this video will help you to understand the HL system better. Thank you so much for watching this video.